Introducing TVAN, the most advanced digital technology for the analysis of dental occlusion. Quick, accurate and non-invasive, with instant reports and comparisons that are not detectable via traditional methods. TVAN provides an extensive range of clinical benefits that enable your practice to improve and validate your treatment, increase revenue and remain at the forefront of dental healthcare innovation. Whether you are dealing with TMJ pain, TMD, bruxism, splint evaluations, implants, full arch restorations, occlusal vertical dimension, trauma, prosthetic or orthodontic treatment, TVAN is a digital assistant always by your side. Real-time data allows you to instantly compare the effects of occlusal adjustments and optimize your patient outcomes and experience. An examination takes less than three minutes and is completely safe and painless. With our simple, intuitive software, it can be performed by any member of your dental team, allowing TVAN to seamlessly integrate into your existing workflow. Four small wireless surface EMG probes are activated and applied to the patient's temporalis and masseter muscles prior to a static and dynamic occlusion test. Simply add your patient to the database and click to begin the occlusal test. You do not need to be an EMG specialist as you are clearly guided throughout each step of the assessment process and patient report. A new test begins with a 5 second calibration. Two cotton rolls are placed between the dental arches of the 5th and 6th teeth, the 2nd premolar and the 1st molar, and the patient is required to perform a maximal clinch throughout the 5 second period. We then proceed with the occlusion test. The cotton rolls are removed and the patient is required to perform another maximal clinch for 5 seconds, and instantly the patient report is generated. TVAN evaluates 5 key values and their related normative ranges. POC stands for Percentage Overlapping Coefficient, which is a similarity measure that calculates the overlap between two datasets. In this case, POC temporalis is the overall activity of the temporalis muscles, specifying which side prevails within the couple between left and right. This measure can also be seen for the masseter muscles, as the POC masseter. For this patient, we can see that both values are within the normative range, as displayed within the vertical grey zone, but the right side prevails, as indicated by the letter R and the shift of the circle symbols to the right side of the mouth. Barry Center compares the muscular activity between the temporalis and masseter muscles. Ideally, the masseter activity should be greater and we should see a posterior Barry Center, as shown in this case. Here you can see the letter P, and the symbols are shifted towards the back of the horizontal blue and pink zones for the temporalis and masseter muscles, respectively. Torsion evaluates the cross-activity of the two pairs of muscles to identify whether there is a possible torsion attitude of the jaw, which is not the case for this patient. If torsion is present, an arrow appears within the symbols in the direction of torsion. Impact monitors the intensity of the muscular work to quantify the strength of the bite. In this case, the patient is below the normative range, thus indicating a weak bite. A particularly high impact score means the patient is a clencher and will likely suffer from bruxism. And finally, the asymmetry value compares the activity of the right and left side muscles to identify the dominant side and any possible asymmetry. This patient is within the normative range, but with a slight prevalence of the right side muscles. The Global Index calculates the overall balance in muscular activity during clenching and considers the POC temporalis and masseter, baricenter and torsion. It is visualised as a traffic light system with green values above 83% indicating a well-balanced occlusion. If between 75-82% to it will display yellow and if below 75% red. You can also view the muscular activity visually through a pie chart, which should be evenly distributed with 25% per quadrant. Here we can see a slight prevalence of the right masseter, which is also visible by viewing the intensity of contraction display. TVAN also allows you to assess dynamic occlusion via the chewing test. Simply provide the patient with some chewing gum and ask them to chew it until it is soft. Then, ask the patient to chew only on the right side and record for 15 seconds by clicking the red button and then repeat this for the left side. Once complete, the dynamic occlusion report will be automatically generated. The chewing test calculates the symmetrical mastication index, which is the overall neuromuscular coordination during the left and right side measurements, with an ideal value of 100%. Optimal coordination is when the activation of the temporalis and masseter muscles of the chewing side are evenly distributed. This patient has only scored 79%. In the frontal plane, we can see that the left chewing is well balanced, but again, there is a prevalence of the right masseter when chewing. In addition to the graphical pie charts, some numerical indices are calculated for the left and right side. Frequency represents the number of chewing acts per second. 
Temporalis and masseter's impact displays the work produced by the respective muscles during the chewing cycles. And working site impact is the non-normalized muscular work of the left and right side during the test execution. You can also view the anterior-posterior prevalence for the left and right side by viewing the lateral plane. In this case, the left chewing is well balanced, but there is a high posterior prevalence when chewing on the right side due to the high masseter activity. Finally, you can make any notes about your patient and propose treatment pathway in the notes section of the software. Now we know how to quickly collect and analyze the data, let's look at a real-life TVAN case study to see how patient results can be accurately monitored over time. Here we have four TVAN examinations for a patient named Robbie, who was initially experiencing regular headaches. On the patient's first visit, we can see a low global index of 41% with a high prevalence of the right temporalis, leading to an anterior bite, right-sided torsion of the jaw and low impact. These findings are automatically highlighted for the practice and based on scientific literature. Following this assessment, a splint was designed for the patient and they were reassessed. By clicking the compare button, you can immediately compare multiple examinations to objectively assess your patient outcomes. Once the splint was applied, there was instantly a vast improvement in the findings. The global index increased 86% due to an improved muscular balance and reduction of torsion, along with an increased impact, evidence of the splint working clinically. The patient returned after nine months for a follow-up and was reassessed, this time without their splint. Again, a vast improvement compared to the patient's first visit. However, there was still room for improvement. During the same visit, an occlusal adjustment was performed by the dentist and a further TVAN occlusal test was recorded, providing the highest global index to date of 88%, with both circle symbols sitting within the green zones of optimal occlusion. Patient progress can also be viewed graphically over time, with green bands indicating a normative range for each value. This is particularly powerful for insurance work and legal protection for the practice, enabling the patient journey to be documented right back to the first visit whilst also improving patient communication. With the click of a button, a full report is instantly generated and customized with the practice logo and details. All results are clearly displayed, along with the normative ranges and key findings highlighted in red. The report can be exported as a PDF, printed, or sent directly to the patient via email. Over 1,000 practices across Europe have successfully introduced TVAN, with a 99% customer satisfaction rating. With a finance package of less than £50 per week, take your practice assessments, outcomes and profitability to the next level with TVAN.